Hey everyone, John and Andy from MLive, and uh, this is stop number 47, as we said. The last, it is the last one. We've done it. We did it. Done. Done. Well, almost. <laughs> we have to sample the last Bloody Mary here. Matt was kind enough from Brogy's Tavern to, to make up these Bloody Marys. And uh, Amy, you've been spending some time getting to know Matt and getting to know the history of this place. Yeah, and this is a super old building, uh, built in the mid 1800s, right? Has uh, hosted, hosted several different bars. Oh, I'll talk louder. Yeah, we'll talk more about for you. Several different bars. You guys bought it in 2012, yeah. um, and you've been running ever since. And it has a lot of history here for your family as well as your wife's family. But, uh, yeah, uh, the community is kind of centered around the mining industry, and. Uh, but most of the decor here is centered around that. Both of our fathers and our grand my grandfather worked in the mines. So we kind of thought that our generation is either still working in the mine, or at least our parents did, and we thought that would be a good fit for a bar around here. I like it. But you're focusing on classic cocktails here. Yeah. So you're doing things, you know, simple, straightforward. You've got good beer, a classic Bloody Mary is how you describe it, but you make each one by hand. There's no mix. Yeah, we don't use any mixes at all here. Uh, whether it's for uh, Old Fashioned, Tom Collins, Bloody Mary, everything's made from scratch. Uh, one ingredient at a time, the Bloody Mary, I think is... 12 or 13 steps depending on how you count them, but uh, that way if somebody wants something a little different, you can customize it. That way you get exactly what you're looking for. I love it. Well, it looks amazing. Okay, right, 47 good. stops. This is number 47. We've had a great trip, folks. April 28th will be the results on MLive.com. We'll give you our top 10 list. Could Brogy's Tavern win? I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah! Very good. <laughs> I love good. the spices that oh gosh, you put in them. It's twangy. Yes. It's bright. A lot of tomato juice in there, but it doesn't taste too tomato. No, it's got a really great balance of other flavors. Plus, they shook it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys. Amy and John signing off because we got work to do. We have to finish this and then get to write. Right? Yes. <laughs>